Yo, what's going on, 67 on the squad? Today we're here doing a ranked one versus one according to the comment section of yesterday's video, which, by the way, thank you for the support. We hit uh, 10,000 views in just 19 hours. Amazing. So thank you so much for the support. Um, just, you know, recently from since Christmas, but <clears throat> Al Kwong is what we're going to be playing today. AMC is open, and that's a little bit terrifying because he banned, I can't see because my friends list, Kibo, on her Freya, and Vulcan. Okay. Sir Kwong. So he really doesn't want to play mages. <clears throat> Danatos. Uh, this isn't good. This is really not good. And the reason it's not good is because I stealth, he threes, I'm out of stealth and slowed, and then he hits his scythe. So... It's a pretty bad matchup. But if we can get super late game, and I'm talking like, if we can get full build late game, we could maybe make it work. Which is pretty nice. The bad thing is that um, if he sights me, I die because I'm a mage with a very, very low. <coughs> excuse me. A very low. <coughs> okay, what? My, vo my voice. I mean, I'm getting just dug like this. <coughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I'm a mage with a very low starting HP pool. And very low scaling HP pool. I may be able to kill him right now. The only thing is, like, he needs to miss his sight. Okay, see, that thing where he didn't miss the sight? That's what I was worried about. Oh, he has blink, too. Okay, so I... You know what, you can just have red buff. That's fine. I'm not gonna... Just take red buff. Oh my god, I got it. Oh my god, that's not good. Really not good. You know what? It's fine. Oh! 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 oh. Oh my god, that made me pee my pants. Holy shit, he for I forgot he had blink. Oh my god. That scared me so much. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Well, that was exciting. Well. Um, not good. Very, very, very not good. Thanatos with a with a lead, a substantial lead at that is just not not ideal. I'm backing because I'm not I'm not backing. But I will sit under my tower. Uh, I got some comments yesterday and yesterday's videos. I think only like one or two. It wasn't a lot of them. Um, that were like. I hate the way that you played this in the Raw vs. What You game yesterday that I uploaded. And to be honest, like, I, I completely understand because I hate it too. But it had to be done. Like, I was Raw vs. Hoi and I was so far down all game. And unless you guys, like, want me to just start giving up games, like, surrendering games, which I know you don't. Um, I mean, that's the only way I could play it to where I still had a chance, is just sitting under Titan and Phoenix and Tower and hoping uh, the best. That's pretty much the only way I could play it. Not good. Oh, actually not bad. Okay, that's bad. Why am I maxing my 2 instead of my 3? I need to start max. I need to max my 3. I'm really, I'm like throwing the game by maxing my 2. That's so stupid. Why would I do that? Like... It's better for, um... <clears throat> it's better for, like, boxing. Maxing my two. But am I ever gonna box him until, like, 20 minutes in? No. So I wanna max my clear first. Okay. Your middle 
Little tower is under attack. <laughs> Alright. Fine. I'm not scared of him right now. I'm just gonna back. I'm not gonna go for the red buff because I'll probably just die again. Um, but being able to steal the blue it helps at least. You know, he doesn't get a lot of extra lead on me. Just pop that so I have. I never realized how mana hungry Ao Kuang is. I also have no idea what Ao Kuang's passive is, so. He very well may ult me right now. I do a good amount of damage to him. The problem is that he can just heal it back up right now. I don't know if I want cooldown boots or damage boots. I'm assuming I want cooldown. Wait, I really can't clear those yet? I'm actually like really surprised that a rank 4 2 and a rank 2 3 can't clear our backline. Oh, he has so much damage. Is so much damage. Transcendence boots. And I don't know, like, I honestly don't know how he's getting this much of a level lead over me. Like, I understand the one level he has over me, but two? I guess because of the two buffs he got. Three? What the fuck? Oh, I did, like, no damage. Okay. Not good. Oh my god. He just auto me for 288. Bro, that was super not cool. Your middle tower is under a blade. Unleash your will. I don't want him to back because red buff is spawning soon. Nice. Very nice. I... Don't know why he waited to scythe. Maybe his scythe cooldown wasn't up or something? The world's my it was not the best play I've ever seen, and I'm so, so happy about it. We got a little bit of leeway to finally catch up in this game after that, uh, that return kill. Alright. We got a red buff, too. We can probably fight him. What's his relic blink? I don't know, maybe... Okay, we, we totally could. Tried to fight me after missing sight? What are you doing, man? That's the first rule about Thanatos. You miss sight, you run away. That's just how it works. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to go Divine first. And I'm not going to get a Relic because I don't know what Relic to get yet. In terms of like trying to survive against him. Um, Shell is probably my best bet for surviving at least. Maybe Blink would be nice. Uh, 
did a pretty good amount of damage, actually. The bracer, dude. He was not expecting the bracer. I don't even need to back. It was a slick ass bracer. Let's see what uh, what relic he's going. <sighs> um, and then I'm probably just gonna go. Like, I don't even know. I guess I should go cooldown. Do I want damage cooldown? I probably want defense cooldown. I'm playing- I'm fighting at Thanatos. Come on, be honest. No you want defense cooldown. What? Relic? Mine. Thorns? Okay, yeah, I'm definitely getting a uh, shell. Definitely getting shell. also want to be there when red buff is there. Because I like having damage. Does the execute range go up? No, it's only for Thanatos. Okay. Oh, he's just giving me it. Really? Hmm. I guess he did try to steal it, but like he could have just he could have fought me or something. Ah. Let's see if we can do his blue now. Not up yet. Well, that was just awful. Get out of here. Baby! You look cute. Did it just spawn? It did. Please don't hold me, please don't hold me, please don't hold me, please don't hold me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit. That is very not good. I will surpass myself. No! <laughs> Damn it, I used my cooldowns on the buff and uh. I didn't have them up because I didn't have finished breastplate, man. Uh, honestly, like, we should go Rod. Getting him to half health is no problem, but finishing that kill is going to be a little bit tough because he's got that, uh, that thorns and fights are going to be a little bit closer. So, I think because he has that thorns and fights are going to be closer, it would not be an awful idea to get uh, Rod, which, like, helps me snowball the more the fight goes on, I guess. I did misplay really early, by the way. Like, I do want to just point that out. Even though I'm not doing awful right now, um, maxing the 2 instead of the 3 was a really big misplay. And I could have avoided being down for most of the game if I didn't do that. I just want to point that out for anyone that wants to play Ao Kuang. Make sure that you max the 3, not the, the 2. I don't know why I maxed the 2. Big dumb. Probably shouldn't have picked that up. Eh, I don't know, because I am mana hungry. I hear better than me. Okay. He realized he missed his scythe and he dipped out. That's the sign of a good Danatos player right there. 
I'm not I'm not trolling, I'm not like being sarcastic. That was that was actually good. He missed sight and just dipped. That's what you should do. Unfortunately for him, uh, even if he hits sight here, he's not gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> because I have shell too. So So that will be our tower. Well, his tower. The one I'm trying to kill. It will be the the, the tower I'm trying to kill down. Is my passive like every time I get a kill or something? Every every time I get a kill, I get increased magical power and lifesteal? Is he actually just like a snowball god? Is that for real? Execute. Oh, every time he executes an enemy god, he gets 15 power and 5% lifesteal. That's kind of nuts. The world's my oyster, so what? I have ten percent more life steal and thirty percent or in thirty power more just because I killed him twice while well, executed him twice. That's that's fan. I am so stupid. That's really cool, actually. But I think they're changing out Kong's passive again, aren't they? I want honestly. Like, maybe a gem. Which seems kind of dumb saying it out loud. So I don't know. Because, like... He, he's good at running away. and when, But if he presses 2... Then he's slow immune anyways. So, I don't know. Does this work on... It does work. It just, it just says against targets below 50% HP. Um, so this will help me secure Bull Demon. Which is nice. The alts for it. Can he? Can he stop me? I guess he was trying to ult on me. I probably should have let him. I, if I unstealthed, I, I should have let him because I had both relics. Plus, I didn't have both relics, and I'm being blue. Well, that was just rude. Unleash your will. No, I want to execute. I want my passive. Nice. What the? I didn't even get my full passive. If you guys enjoyed that Al Kong video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.